we now talk about the applications of quadratic functions so I've got uh, the first question which is um, saying if the selling price x of an item is related to the profit p by the equation p is equal to a 1000 x minus 25 x squared determine the value of x that would we yield maximum profit and state the maximum profit okay so this question is a uh, and um, Mm, quadratic uh, functions specifically completing of square method so we want to determine the value of x and the value of p which is the profit so we have a 1000 x minus a 25 uh, 25 x squared so the quadratic function is in the form of a x squared plus bx plus c so in this case the c is just basically zero so i can write this and say p is going to be negative 25 x squared plus a 1000 x a 1000 x plus zero so c is zero that's why there is nothing here so here we don't have anything so now using quadratic uh completing square method this is going to be first we have to factor out the a which a in this case is negative 25 so i'm going to say negative 25 open brackets i'm going to remain with x squared minus 25 into um 25 into um a 1000 is going to give us a 40. okay so we're going to have a 40 x then this is what we have now next what we have to do is it's going to be a 25 a 25 then x squared minus 40 x we get plus the half of what we have here the half of 40 is going to board that is the computing square method that's what we do plus the half of this is going to give us a 20 okay so we're going to have a 20 now this 20 has to be is going to be the half of negative 40 is going to, to give us negative 20 actually okay so it's going to give us uh, negative 20 so i'm going to say negative 20 then i'll square it minus the same negative 20 i square it so i'll, I'll do this now what will be the next step next step we get this and this we ignore this part the 40 that's what we do so it's going to be negative 25 is going to be x minus 20 then squared so we're going to have again minus because 20 negative 20 and negative 20 we're going to get a, a 400 now from here allow me to get rid of this okay i get rid of this then what what are we going to have we're going to have um i'm going now to distribute the 25 so this is going to be negative 25 x minus 20 squared plus this is going to be plus now negative 25 times that one we're going to get a, a 10,000. okay we're going to have a 10,000. this is what we have now now to find the value of x in this case we just get this um the part which is inside here we equate it equal to zero then we solve for x so it's going to be x minus 20 has to be equal to zero so x will be equal to a 20. so now this is the value of x the question is saying determine the value of x so the value of x is 20 and the profit so they, they want us to find the p since we are saying that p is equal to a 1000 x minus 25 x squared so now let's plug in the value of what the value of x so it's going to be p a 20 a 10 a 1000 times 20 minus a 25 times 20 squared okay so this is going to be the profit now in this case is going to be uh, this is going to give us a 20,000 minus what is 25 25 uh, 20 squared is four uh, is 400 now we need to say a 400 times what times a 25 
okay so what is the 400 times 25 so 400 times 25 we're going to get a 10,000 so we're going to have a 10,000 meaning that our profit is going to be our profit is going to be so we're going to say a 20,000 minus 10,000 we're going to remain with a 10,000 okay so our profit now is going to be a 10,000 so the value of x is 20 and the profit is a 10,000 so this is the application of a um, quadratic function now I've got another question here which is saying uh, a farmer wishes to enclose a rectangular uh, lot of maximum area with a fence 400 meters long meaning that is the perimeter okay find the dimensions of the rectangular or the rectangle and state its maximum area okay so they want us to find the dimensions of the rectangle meaning that if this is my rectangle let's say that this is our rectangle now this rectangle we are going to say that let's say that this is y and then this is x meaning that again this is x this is y but we know that perimeter the way we find perimeter they're saying that the total perimeter they're saying that um, the rectangular lot of maximum area with the fence length which is 400 meter this is the perimeter so the perimeter we need to add all the sizes so going to be y plus y again plus x plus x so we're going to say y plus y plus x plus x this has to be equal to a 400 that is the total perimeter so y plus y is going to be 2y plus we're going to have 2x is going to be equal to a 400 okay now we can um, reduce this by dividing every um, everywhere with what a 2 okay so if I divide everywhere with a 2 I'm going to have y plus x is going to be equal to a 2 into 400 is going to be a 200 as simple as that so now let's call that one as equation 1 okay so I'm going to call this one as equation 1 now this is the perimeter but we know that area how can we find the area area is given by it's going to be x times y okay now they want us to find the, the value of x and y at the same time we need to find the what the area the question is saying find the dimensions of the rectangles or the rectangle and state its maximum area so we need to find the value of x and y again we need to find the area okay so now in the first equation this is going to be our equation 2 in the first equation um, let's make y as a subject of formula so it's going to be y is equal to 200 minus x okay then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the same y in the second equation where there's y let's put 200 minus x so we're going to say area is going to be equal to x open brackets 200 minus x now I can uh, I can distribute x is going to be a is going to be equal to a 200x minus x squared now if we can say this is a quadratic function now it's an equation okay so if that is an equation meaning that it is as a function of x is same as a x is going to be equal to I can start with the negative x squared plus um, a 200 x now using again the same computing square method I can find the value of x in this case okay so now what I'm going to do allow me to get rid of this I no longer need this okay so I'm going to say I'm going to put this one here 200 minus x okay now let's continue from here now using um completing square method we know that what we're going to have here we can factor out negative if I factor out negative I'm going to move x squared again I'm, have, I'm going to have a negative 200 then x now once again we're going to say negative x squared minus this is going to be 200 x then we get the half of 200 which is going to be plus half of 200 is a hundred so it's going to be negative hundred because it's negative 200 okay now we square it minus again negative 100 again we square it okay so what we're going to have now is let's get rid of this okay so we're going to have negative let me put it on top there we're going to have uh, negative we have um, 
we know that using quadratic equation we, we just get this and this then we ignore this part here okay so we're going to have x uh, minus a hundred then squared this is going to be a hundred squared is going to give us a what it's going to give us um, a ten thousand so I'm going to say minus a ten thousand okay because this is negative hundred squared which is going to be ten thousand but we've got a negative there let's not forget okay now from here I'm going to distribute the negative so it's going to be negative x minus hundred squared plus a ten thousand now we get what is inside here and then we make x as a subject of formula that will be the value of x so it's going to be x minus 100 is equal to 0 so x will be equal to a hundred so that is the value of x now we have found the value of x how can we find the value of y remember the first part the first equation was x when we, when we made y as a subject of formula it was y is equal to 200 minus x so this is going to be y is equal to a 200 minus x but we know the x okay so the x is uh, we have found that the x is 100 so it's going to be y is equal to 200 minus 100 which is going to be equal to what a hundred at the same time okay it's going to be hundred meaning that the x this is 100 meters at the same time the x is also a hundred meters now to find the first part we have found the dimensions not of the area to find the maximum area remember the formula is a is equal to x y so area will be equal to a hundred times a hundred so what will be our area so our area is going to be um what is hundred times hundred hundred times hundred is going to give us a ten thousand so our area is going to be a ten thousand meter squared so this is our area okay so this is what you need to know under the uh, under application of what uh, quadratic functions